Hello and welcome to this Formlabs webinar. This is a shortened version of the original broadcast. If you'd like to view the content in full, please click on the link below. Welcome everyone. We're really excited to be hosting this webinar today. My name is Elena. I'm a product marketing manager here and I'm joined by two of my favorite people from our product team, Puri and Kyle. Uh, we're also joined by Alex, who is a material scientist and a great person to answer all of your tough, hard-hitting questions about our materials today. We're looking forward to offering a recap of Formlabs' new SLA materials we've launched so far in 2022, uh, as well as answering any questions you may have about these new materials. Um, some of you on the call might be Formlabs customers already, and some might be new to us, uh, but we are excited to tell everyone about the new SLA materials that we've launched so far in 2022, which include ESD resin, two biomed resins, and two polyurethane resins. Um, I've launched a poll here uh, to kind of gauge um, whether uh, you currently use 3D printing for your business uh, or not. Um, so again, uh, please feel free to uh, include your answer. I'll be keeping this uh, poll question up for a couple of minutes um, and then we'll close it out. So first, a little bit of background on Formlabs and what has been on our mind this year. Um, if you are unfamiliar with our products, uh, we offer two different kinds of technologies, uh, sterile lithography printers or SLA for short, which uses lasers to cure liquid photopolymer resins into 3D shapes. Uh, you can see on the right hand, or sorry, left hand side, and selective laser sintering printers, or SLS, which are powder based, uh, using la lasers to fuse thermoplastic powders together into production grade parts. Um, today, we'll be talking about materials that are compatible with our SLA printers. Um, I'm going to get the next uh, poll uh, started up here, um, which uh, asks, which materials are you most interested in learning about today? So since our first printer launched in 2020, 2012, um, we've shipped over 100,000 printers uh, around the world. And with those machines, our customers have printed over 100 million parts uh, in that 10 year time period. So what are all those people printing? Um, our customer base ranges across businesses, large and small, in a wide range of industries covering consumer products, manufacturing, medical, entertainment, uh, dentistry, and even hospitals. So here is uh, the overview of our current uh, SLA materials library. We have a wide variety of options for general prototyping, biocompatible resins for the medical industry, dental resins, jewelry and ceramic resins, and of course, uh, a wide variety of engineering resins as well. Today, we're gonna be focusing on ESD resin, biomed resins, and polyurethane resins. First up, we have ESD, and I'll be passing it off to Kyle. Great, thanks Elena. Hi everyone, uh, as Elena mentioned, my name is Kyle. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about ESD. We're gonna look at uh, what this material is, what are some of the key applications, uh, look at its properties, the most important properties, and then take a look at a, a customer story. And I'm gonna hand it off to Elena to talk about the Biomed White and Biomed Black materials. So uh, at a high level, ESD resin is a rugged, tough ESD safe material to improve your manufacturing workflows. There's two uh, key features of this resin. One is that it's ESD safe. ESD stands for electrostatic discharge for anyone that's not familiar. And the second key feature is that it's a tough material. This makes it really ideal for applications where parts have to withstand the rigors of a manufacturing floor environment. These sorts of applications might include electronics tooling, fixtures, and work holding. And there are also a few additional applications that I'll mention if, if you're looking for anti-static properties. So before we go into those applications, I wanna show an example of what this looks like in action. Uh, on the top here, just to, to show this video, um, we have two printed parts sitting on a, a uh, ESD safe mat or a conductive mat. So the, the blue, light blue material is the mat. Uh, the top of the frame is a, a part printed in our standard gray material. And the bottom of the frame is a uh, part printed in our, in our ESD resin. 
so what's happening here is ESD is uh, the ESD resin part is dissipating the static electricity generated by the ESD gun through the mat away to a grounded point. Uh, the non ESD safe material is acting as an insulator, so it's not able to dissipate that charge. Why does this matter? What we're doing here, this, this printed part is actually a fixture for printed circuit board. And so by using the ESD safe material, we're dissipating any static buildup uh, through the part into the mat to a safe grounded point, as opposed to letting that static, um, which would traditionally uh, travel through the most conductive uh, point in, in close proximity, instead of letting that static travel through the circuit board and damaging the surface circuit board. Looking at the first most important application here uh, is tooling and fixturing. So um, this looks like uh, the full printed part I showed you earlier is, is pictured on the right here. So here we see it actually holding a full printed circuit board. Uh, what you can do with work holding like this is create ESD safe parts that can speed up the time it takes you to build up a manufacturing process. You can use ESD resin to print assembly fixtures that help you capture and precisely align components as they're assembled together. You could make jigs for soldering or wiring things together that prevent static buildup for soldering stations, or you could create a jig or a fixture for a programming or testing part of your manufacturing line to make sure that your products are being made to spec, all while guaranteeing that your, your sensitive electronic components don't get damaged by static buildup on your line. A second application uh, that we're seeing a lot of customers start to use this material for is component handling. So uh, with one of our 3D printers and at the price point it's offered at and this material, you can really easily create custom component handling, uh, trays and grippers for smaller complex parts. You could create custom end effectors, grippers, or tongs that an operator could use to handle these types of components. Um, again, this might include something an operator uses, or it could be something like an end of arm tooling that can be mounted to a robotic arm for automatic picking and placing of electronic components. Instead of having to machine these components out of metal, which is the traditional workflow here, uh, or purchase an off-the-shelf version of that component that might not be well suited your, to your application, you can print exactly what you need uh, with this material and, and then also trust that it's going to hold up on the manufacturing floor. Uh, thirdly is something I mentioned a little bit earlier. So uh, you can also create anti-static prototypes. This is actually something that we did uh, for our own products. So we used ESD resin in-house for prototyping um, a part on Fuse Sift, which is a post-processing product that we sell for our SLS uh, powder-based 3D printer called Fuse One. So this is a part that uh, loose powder and loose nylon powder runs through this tube. And uh, if you use an insulating plastic to prototype this piece, the powder will cling to the surface of the part and the, the kind of machine overall won't work like we want it to. Normally uh, in, in production, we would produce this part with aluminum, uh, but we are able to much more quickly prototype this component by printing it directly in ESD resin and mimic the properties that that final metal tube has. And that allowed us to run functional tests on the part uh, just based on a 3D printed prototype rather than having to spend time and, and money doing a, a machined prototype. Switching away from applications and looking at why, why 3D print with ESD resin. Uh, the answer is pretty simple. If you ever had to manufacture a ramp of manufacturing line with electronic components, you know that a critical step in that is building out tooling, fixturing, work handling, uh, excuse me, work holding and, and workstations. Uh, prior to ESD resin, the way to get ESD safe fixtures uh, was to have them machined out of metal because metals are natural conductors. This design work and this machining takes time and it can cost money and that turnaround time slows down your overall process of building up that line. Especially with a more complex fixture, the cost of that machining starts to add up. By adopting ESD resin and one of our SLA printers, you don't need to worry about that. You can print complex uh, ESD safe tooling fixtures, jigs at a fraction of the cost and have them ready to install on your manufacturing line same day. Uh, this means the capability to your, to your business to produce its own custom ESD safe parts is much more in reach. Anyone can use the technology, they can produce it same day, and they can produce it for a much lower cost. Uh, last two things, looking at some of the key properties of, of uh, this ESD resin and comparing it to uh, one of our other resins, Tough 2000, and also just traditional ABS. Uh, we really focused on making this a material that can be used uh, in rugged environments for flat factory floor applications. Um, looking at kind of a comparison to ABS, we see that it's similar in strength and stiffness, uh, but it's also ESD safe with that lower surface and volume resistivity. And then comparing it to Tough 2000, it has a lot of those similar uh, toughness properties and elongation and impact strength. It is not quite as tough as Tough 2000, 
Uh, so it's not a direct replacement for that material for any, any of our existing customers that are using Tough 2000, but it is an alternative, again, with that ESD safe property. Uh, last thing, I just want to look at a customer that we had that used this resin. Uh, so Haven is a company creating a line of indoor air quality products. They've been using our Form 3 and 3L products for years to prototype really any plastic component they, they have in their products. But they've always had to outsource metal machining for ESD tooling components and any ESD safe parts of their system um, because we, we didn't have a, a material that was available with, with ESD safe properties. Uh, ultimately, as soon as we launched this resin, they were really excited and, and switched right over to it. Um, long story short, they kind of talked about how there were definitely solutions for them to dealing with ESD uh, prior to this resin and, and prior to 3D printing, but they were slow and expensive. Looking at one part in particular, they had a small aluminum part uh, that was uh, essentially a fixture for their, their laser component, which was very sensitive to, to damage from static. Uh, and it cost them uh, about $500 to, to machine that fixture and a week or two of time to get it. They were able to print it in ESD resin. Uh, they had it in a day and it was a tenth of the cost. A really perfect example of kind of the power of this material and why we're really excited to, to get this into even more people's hands. Uh, thanks everyone. I'm gonna pass it over to Elena and she's gonna talk about Biomed White and Biomed Black. Thank you, Kyle. Um, so in April of this year, we launched two resins as a part of our Biomed resin family, Biomed White and Biomed Black. Um, that really further established our commitment to our medical customers and uh, medical innovations uh, leveraging 3D printing. Thank you for tuning in to this webinar preview from Formlabs. To view the content in full, please click on the link below. Alternatively, if you'd like to get more information on our products and services, then please visit our website.